What's up guys? Welcome back to Sneak Attack and today we're going to be talking about the Ultra Boost 4.0. Make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss any of our dope videos. We upload videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. We do sneaker videos, vlogs, and all kinds of different videos. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss anything. Also make sure you click the link up above so you can be entered into the NMD giveaway. It ends at 2,000 subscribers so make sure you help us hit our goal of 2,000 subscribers and you'll get a chance to win some free shoes. So make sure you subscribe and make sure you enter. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the video. So like I said before, we're gonna be talking about the Ultra Boost 4.0, the new Ultra Boost that is probably coming out sometime by the end of the year. I did a previous video on the Ultra Boost 4.0 a couple months back, but there's been a lot of new info, a lot of new photos. So I'm gonna give you guys my official first thoughts and overview of the Ultra Boost 4.0. So I'm gonna be putting up pictures on the screen the same pictures that I'm looking at while giving you guys my first thoughts. So there's been a lot of new pictures of the Ultra Boost 4.0. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys my first thoughts on the Prime Knit, you know, what I think it's gonna feel like and my overview of how it looks. So first off, how it looks, in my opinion, looks wise, this is probably the best Prime Knit pattern since the 1.0. It has really cool perforations that gives it like that 1.0 vibe, but it also has like some hints of like the 3.0 pattern in there too which in my opinion, the 1.0 and 3.0 are the two best Ultra Boost patterns that have come out so far. So the, um, the 3.0 was like the most comfortable Prime Knit in my opinion, and the 1.0 is probably the best looking one. So they kind of fuse those together, and in my opinion, it's like, it just looks super cool, it looks freaking fire. So looks wise, I'm super, super excited. And also I think it's really cool that they brought back like the perforations that like the 1.0 and 2.0 had, cause like the 3.0, you know, like the Prime Knit was really cool, stretchy and comfortable, but it didn't have the perforations. Um, I think just aesthetic wise and with breathability, it's just a really good thing to have. So I'm stoked that they brought it back. And it's also cool because sometimes you can like see your socks through the Prime Knit. So that's just like a really dope touch. So it has functionality and it looks really cool. So pretty excited looks wise on the Ultra Boost 4.0 Prime Knit. Comfort wise, obviously I don't know how it feels, but I'd be surprised if Adidas made something less comfortable than what they had. So obviously the 3.0 in my opinion was the most comfortable Prime Knit that an Ultra Boost ever had. Um, and this does have some hints of 3.0 in there. So hopefully it has the same comfort as a 3.0, if not better. If it's better, that's obviously really, really cool. But I'd be surprised if they could make it more comfortable than that. But who knows, Adidas is always pushing the envelope with like their shoes. So I'm super excited to get my hands on a pair when they come out and see how they feel. And definitely be having a review of it on this channel. Moving on to like the cage, um, they didn't change anything with the cage really. I've seen pictures of like translucent cages and solid cages, you know, heel cups. I'm sure they're gonna have like the 3D printed heel cups like they've been doing and the regular plastic ones. But one thing I wanted to talk about was the glow in the dark cage and heel cup. Um, there was like a leaked picture of a glow in the dark cage and heel cup. And I think it looks really, really, really sick. Um, I'm hoping it's a GR cause like it is like an early leak photo and a lot of these early leak photos end up being like big GRs that you can pick up from like Foot Locker and stuff. So if they have a glow in the dark ultra boost that like I can go to the store and pick up for retail, that would be really, really sick. Cause you know, I mean, glow in the dark is always dope. I mean, how could you not like glow in the dark? And also the outsole is glow in the dark too. So it's like a triple white base with like glow in the dark hits and it just looks freaking sick. So I'm super excited for that. So obviously the rest of the shoe is pretty much a standard ultra boost, you know, Cage is pretty much the same, Prime Knit, and then they have the Boost. So pretty standard. So as far as that, it's put, it's gonna be the same as it's always been. So, and it's the same, but that's a good thing. Cause like, why would they change it when they pretty much have it perfect as far as like those parts of the shoe. So I'm really excited for the 4.0. So I think it's the best, uh, the best Ultra Boost like model since the 1.0. So super, super excited. And there's like a ton, a ton of dope colorways coming out. Obviously there's like the triple white colorway that leaked and they're bringing back like the the black outsole on that. So I think that's super cool. Um, the triple black colorway that's leaked is really, really, really slick. There's like almost like gray lining. There's almost like gray linings in like the prime that looks, makes it look really, really sick. Like gives it like a weird metallic look. Um, there's like Oreo colorway, zebra colorway, like a burgundy type colorway that's coming out. Um, I don't know exactly when all these colorways are coming out, but you know, look for them in the near future. The, the 4.0 is probably gonna be dropping around like December, cause that's usually when like the new Ultra Boost models come out. So be on the lookout, you know, be on the lookout on your social media, be on the lookout, you know, in your stores, cause they're gonna be coming out sooner than later. So 
I'm really excited and I can't wait. Other than that, that's pretty much my overview on the 4.0. My final, not my final thoughts, but my initial thoughts on it are that I think it looks really, really sick. I haven't been this excited for an Ultra Boost in a long time. You know, 3.0 was really cool um, in the beginning, but in the middle and end of like the year that um, that 3.0 was like active, a lot of the colorways were just so-so colorways, you know. A lot of the stuff sat on shelves. I wasn't really with like a lot of the collabs they did, but hopefully with 4.0, they do a lot of more dope collabs and a lot of cool LTDs because I'm really trying to cop a lot of Ultra Boosts and I'm pretty excited for this one. So like I said, I think this one is probably up there with the 1.0. Obviously 1.0 is like pretty much everyone's favorite. And this one, in my opinion, is right up there with it. Um, not that 2.0 and 3.0 were bad because those are I love those shoes, but 4.0, I'm really stoked for, so. I'm excited, that's my initial thoughts on it. Excited, I think it's gonna be freaking sick, and I can't wait to get my hands on a pair. And with that being said, that's pretty much gonna wrap up this video. Make sure you guys subscribe because we upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Leave a like, leave a comment on what you think about the Ultra Boost 4.0. With that being said, my name's Keon, and I'll catch you guys next time.